Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Trek Show. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Trek Show. I'm Harold with Utah Trikes, and I'm here to answer your questions. Thank you for the support on the last video, and we love to see all the questions you guys have in the comments. If your question wasn't touched on in this video today, we'll be getting around to them when we can. So keep an eye out for our weekly uploads. First off, we have a lot of quad questions this week, so let's head on over to the quad fabrication area to get some of those answered. Hey Jared, you have some time to answer a couple questions? Sure, Harold, what's up, man? Awesome, thanks, man. Uh, Solgo guy 47 on YouTube asks, would you mount your solar cell in the car area of a knock and why? You can mount a solar cell if you would like. It would allow you to gradually charge your battery while you're riding, increasing the distance you can travel. We currently don't have any options to install one for you, but if you are well versed in electronics, you'd be able to do it yourself. Awesome. The next question is from Life Among the Bipeds on YouTube. They ask, do you have recommendations for locking up quads? Um, so we recommend not leaving a quad unattended, but if you need to lock it up, first thing you'd want to do is lock up all your tires to the frame. You can do this with a very long bike lock or multiple bike locks. Once all the tires are locked to the frame, you will want to lock your frame around something sturdy, so that is the best way to prevent theft of a quad. Awesome. Good knowledge. Huff Journal for Life on Instagram asks, can you create baby carriers on your quads? Um, we cannot. Once the quad is in your hands, you can customize a baby carrier on your own. Just be sure to make the baby safe. Of course. Jay Brink, 1998, emailed us this question. Please tell me more about the quad rig. Oh, absolutely. We manufacture the Nauta wheelchair in collaboration with Jerry Rig Everything. The Nauta wheelchair was designed with accessibility in mind and is excellent for all-terrain riding. All Nauta wheelchairs come with a 1,000 watt motor with reverse and the motor is governed to have a speed limit of 12 miles per hour. There are multiple different accessories that can be added onto the Nauta wheelchair and you can get more info on those in the link above. For shipping quote on a Nauta wheelchair, you can call or email us and we can help you. I hope that answers all your questions, Harold. It does, thank you, Jared. Have a good day. You too. Hey Chandler, before you take off, is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Yeah, for sure. First question is from Dumbot. He asks, Harold, I need a tandem so I can take my son in all kinds of trails in Oregon beaches. I recall from a past video that the Yumi is being redesigned. I'd love to know if that's ready to roll. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. We unfortunately no longer fabricate the Yumi. But there is hope. We do currently have a social tandem version of our E-Quad in production that we fabricate in-house that functions almost exactly like the Yumi. It comes with a buffeting motor that features a throttle and electric pedal assist. It also comes with a standard 10-speed and rear gear options for a roll-off. We will be having a full feature video on it soon, but in the meantime, you can send me an email and I can work up a quote. Awesome. I'll be really cool to see. Second question is from Eric Smith on YouTube. He asked, do the quads tip over like a three-wheel trike in fast 90 degree turns? The E-Quad has a higher center of gravity, so hard turns or riding on drastic inclines can cause the E-Quad to tip. Lean with the turns and be cautious of the graze you're riding and you'll be fine. Awesome, that's very good advice. Well, I have more questions, do you mind giving me a ride? Yep, let's go find Ezra. Hey Ezra, got some questions for you. Great, I should be able to help with those. First we have CDP6896 on YouTube saying, I bought an ECAT 559, but I wish I had gone with the Dumont ECAT with suspension. Can I put suspension on my 559? Unfortunately, no. If you want suspension on a cat trike, you're going to have to go with the Dumont model. Uh, cat trike doesn't sell these suspension spindles on any other model other than the Dumont. So if you want suspension, you have to get that off the bat. All right. Next we have RTZ549 and John Crowley on YouTube ask, if we offer a belt conversion, idler pulleys, and if the belts are long enough for a recumbent? Unfortunately, no. We don't have a belt drive system available for trikes. It, it would be way too long to work well, so we don't have that available. Sorry. Awesome. Thanks, Ezra. Yeah.
Hey everybody, welcome to the showroom. Bob Shu One from YouTube asks, what's your most affordable tadpole motorized trike? Also, is there a foldable e-trike? Well, Bob, the most affordable electric tadpole trike that we carry would be the Electro Tad. The Electro Tad is a Sunseeker Eco Tad with a Bafang motor. The starting price is going to be $2,799. The most affordable folding e-trike would be the Cat Trike Chill with the 750 watt Bafang motor, which starts at $4,735. Let's go take a look at the Tadfly X. This is the Tadfly X. One of the best performing and best looking trikes that we carry and I have a couple questions on it. John Sorensen on YouTube asks, how much does the Tie X cost and will a bank give me a loan for this awesome trike? Hey John, the current price of the Tie Fly X is $7,799. As for a bank loan, it would depend on the bank. We do also offer financing through Synchrony Bank. Keep in mind we do require at least 50% deposit before starting your trike build. Rhodes Bennett on YouTube asks, hello. I noticed that the TIEFLY X has a max weight capacity of 110 kilograms and the TIEFLY max weight capacity is 125 kilograms. If you know why that is there a difference? The reduced weight capacity of the TIEFLY X is due to larger wheels. Larger wheels mean longer spokes and lar larger spokes have a harder time supporting more weight than the max. Now let's go find Dylan for this next set of questions. Hey Courtney, I can't seem to find Dylan. Is it okay if I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Francisco Prada on YouTube wants to know, how much is the Catrick Annihilator? The base price for the Annihilator varies depending on what Catrick frame you go with. You can choose between three different options, which is the X-Series, that's based on the Expedition frame, which starts at $42.50, or the P-Series, which is based on the Pocket frame, starting at $26.99, and lastly the V-Series, which is based on the Villager frame, and that will be starting at $41.50. The difference between the regular cat trike frames and the Annihilator counterparts is that they come with 24 inch front wheels and then a 29 inch rear wheel for comfort. Awesome, thank you. 70s Railing Kid on YouTube asks, when do you think you'll have fenders for 26 by four inch Dumont frames again? I don't think that we ever carried 26 by four fenders for cat trike and I don't think that we ever will because of the limitations of the cat trike frame. That's true, unfortunately. Uh, last question on RVMH Traveling Museum on TikTok asks, do you offer financing for us that are really disabled? I really would love to get a bike to get my mobility back. We do offer financing. The financing is available through Synchrony Bank and we're currently offering a promotion for 18 months at 0% interest. You can find out more information on our website, utahtrikes.com or by giving us a call or email. Awesome. Thank you so much, Courtney. Sure. Hey Cutler, you have some time to answer a couple questions? Yeah, what's up? Dave Craigson, 72, asked us over email, if I remove the lithium battery and transport just the battery by car, are there any concerns? Do you have any suggestions for them? No, there should be no problems transporting it by car. Just make sure it doesn't get jostled around aggressively and don't let it get hot. All right, thank you Cutler. Yeah. Thank you everybody for joining us and for another episode of The Trike Show. We love to answer your questions, so if you have any, please leave them in the comments section below. Also, make sure to check out our weekly merch drops. A link to our shop page will be in the top right corner. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Answer battery while you're riding and cruising to stops. What was it? Hey, 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 no. I can't. I can't. can't. Watch it. Yeah, Harold, what's up, man? First question. By nine, I would have loved to wish I had gone with the ECAT too long. I'm wondering if it's meant to be in the end. Why are you laughing? I'm sorry. Uh, take a look at this.
that one here. Yeah, that's good. Don't <laughs> make me alone for this awesome train. Someone make me alone! <laughs> right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jerry! Hi! I'm Jerry! Spike Jake! Good! Sticky thread! No! Oh my god! Harold Guy! <laughs> what? Bye. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That is not what I meant. Let's go find Dylan. There he is. <laughs> it's Dylan. Hey, Heather. No problem. Okay. <laughs>